In today's video, I will teach you how to create a simple grunge stamp effect in GIMP. Let's get started. Start by opening GIMP and creating a new image with a size of 650 by 650 pixels. Then select a color for the stamp text. For example, you can use a red color like this. Then use the text tool to write your desired text on the canvas. Now we're going to add border to the text. Start by adding a new layer above the text layer. Then use the rectangle select tool to drag a selection around the text, leaving a border around it. Now ensure that the border distance is approximately the same on all sides for aesthetic balance. Now go to Select, then Border, and choose a border width of around 5 pixels. Now go to Edit, then Fill with Foreground Color to fill the selection with the foreground color. Then deselect the selection by going to Select, then None. Now right-click the border layer, and choose Merge Down to merge it with the text layer. Then select the Rotate tool from the toolbox and rotate the entire image to your desired position by clicking and dragging within the canvas. Now we're going to apply the grunge effect. With the merge layer selected, go to Layer, Mask, then Add Layer Mask, then choose White Full Opacity, and click Add. Then select the Paintbrush tool from the toolbox. And choose a grungy brush type, like the confetti brush or any other textured brush. Then reset the color to black by pressing D on your keyboard. Then paint freely on the layer mask to reveal transparency using black to hide areas and using white to reveal areas. This will create a grunge effect around the stamp text. Now, we're going to add noise with the Ink tool. Select the Ink tool from the toolbox and adjust the settings. Then paint again freely on the layer mask and vary the opacity between the strokes from 80 to 90% to add variety to the grunge effect. And for final touches, you can adjust the intensity and the placement of the grunge effect until you are satisfied with the look. Optionally, you can adjust the layer opacity or add additional effect to enhance the overall appearance. And once you're satisfied with the result, you can save your newly created stamp text effect in your preferred format. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.